right, time now is 516, and, and a park may be a good spot to be, uh, you know, if there's a splash pad. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to have a splash pad right now. <laughs> splash pad sounds great. Is it weird if adults want to do that? Is there an adults-only splash pad? <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know, man. You can do what you want, I guess. Okay, do what you want. All right. De desperate times call for desperate measures around here. You know what? If you are cooling down, you're heading into like a lake or a river, let's all try to wear life vests just because sometimes the water ends up being a little bit cooler than what we expect. And... Uh, at times, we can overestimate our swimming abilities as well. Uh, it's going to be very hot. Let's not leave uh, any living things in a hot car. want to make sure we're taking extra care of our seniors, kiddos, and pets today. It's 60 degrees right now. This is our camera in Olympia. South Sound communities, you're going to be flirting with the triple digits today. Meanwhile, 92 for Seattle, 93 for the foothills. We got you in the mid-90s for the mountains, 104 central Washington, and the mid-80s for some spots along the coast. High temperature is hotter the farther away you get from Puget Sound and the closer uh, towards the Cascade foothills. 95 Issaquah, 93 Redmond, Sammamish, Renton, and Kent today. 91 for places like Des Moines and 90 into Bremerton. We're going to be jumping into the upper 90s Puyallup, uh, Olympia, Centralia. 91 for Lakewood today and thankfully in the upper 80s into the North Sound still that's uncomfortably hot and the, these are overwhelming temperatures for so many of us because about half the population doesn't have air conditioning, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. We're at 95 in Forks, 94 into Aberdeen. You might smell a little bit of smoke closer to the Cascades. That sourdough fire in the North Cascades continuing to burn. You can see our surface smoke forecast in at 5 o'clock today. Light amounts of smoke. I'm not expecting a major drop to air quality, but it's something that we got to watch. We're in the low 90s for the next three days, and overnight temperatures aren't doing us any favors. We're going to be sweltering overnight as temperatures range in the mid to upper 60s. A little bit cooler to Thursday. We drop into the upper 70s Friday, and thankfully in the upper 70s we stay Saturday and Sunday. All right, we'll talk more about your hourly temperatures coming up next. For now, I'll send it over to Adam. Big issues out there?